Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Raichu Plays. Today's video I'm starting a brand new series here on Planet Zoo. So as you can see I have already made a start to the zoo. Um, I did previously record a whole segment starting up the zoo, giving it a name, putting in these temporary enclosures, but unfortunately the video recording software did corrupt and I'm not able to retrieve that so I am just starting off where, where I've left off unfortunately. So instead of starting from scratch, um, I have already got a few enclosures in here they have generated me a few bits of money i've got toilets and a couple of shops a couple of atms obviously for guests to come in take the money out spend it in the shops because that's what we want at the end of the day okay so literally everything that you can see here is going to be temporary it's purely just to get the zoo up and running just want to kind of touch base on the inspiration for this zoo it's not a recreation it's completely inspired so i want to base it off dudley castle zoo which is actually a zoo that I visited in the last couple of days. Um, I did go with my friend and my friend's mum, and in my opinion, it is a very, very, very good zoo. Um, I have been to a couple around the UK, not been to loads, just kind of ticking them off as I go. Um, but yeah, I really like the kind of layout of the zoo, so I want to try and incorporate that as much as possible into this one. So I think the end goal for this zoo is to pretty much just capture as much character as possible. I really want to do that old style kind of English zoo. I kind of want to take inspiration from like London Zoo, Dudley Zoo, anywhere where it's been around for quite a while, got quite a few classic. Probably will take some inspiration from Artist Zoo in Amsterdam. In the past couple of weeks I have been to that zoo in Amsterdam and it is absolutely phenomenal. I would definitely say outside of the UK, that is my absolute top favourite zoo. I'm going back to Amsterdam in a couple of weeks. It's quite close, so I'm going to move there, but we move. And we're going to try and get out to Rotterdam Zoo as well, because I've heard very, very good things about that zoo as well. I think they have polar bears there as well, so I'm always down to go see polar bears wherever I am. Okay, so back to the video. So referring back to the original, the one that I've lost, I've already laid out all of this area. This is going to be where the Okapis are. Um, I'm going to make some amendments. I've already got the path down and I've got the bed in and the base of the building. So pretty much from here, I'm just going to hop straight into speed build.
Okay, so that's the base of the building done. Um, just finished the building, put the roof on, did all the details inside, put the null barrier around the edge of the perimeter of the enclosure. So just going to grab my female low carp um, still got that one, but as you can see here, I did have a slight little problem. Not sure what's what's actually causing this because I've never actually seen it before. But I have been trying to get the male low carp but when I'm actually clicking on the listing, this is buy-in with, with cash, not conservation credits. It's just saying listing expired. So I thought it might be a problem with, I don't know, the animal market or something. But when I went to buy the aardvark, it let me do it straight away. So not 100% sure on that one. I'm just going to leave it and just, just see what happens. See if I can get one at some point in the future. Unfortunately, I don't have one in the trade center. So I can't just pull one through and use that one. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be having any of it. So what I'll do is, just for now, I will put just the female okapi into the habitat. And at a later stage, I will just add the male, because ideally I want this as kind of a breeding pair, so I can get more conservation credits. I know they don't give much, but anything is better than nothing, if that makes sense. I know I've got quite a few at the moment, but that is from just a previous play around zoo, where I just kind of just put loads of stuff in, lions, cheetahs, Tigers, anything that makes good good conservation credits, and just kind of ran with it. It was more of a breeding zoo. I wouldn't say it was more aesthetically pleasing. It was just kind of pens and double pens for the male, and so just add them in if and when needed, kind of thing. So just going to get the path lined up. Obviously, keepers and vets and mechanics, whatever needs to go to the enclosure, does need a path to get to it. And pretty much just the basic. Obviously, everyone will know that. So just going to get this lined up. I'm going to try and keep it as straight as possible because I do have a plan for that little gap you can see at the top, which we will do about midway through this episode, so quite shortly. And as you can see as well, I have already marked out rough plans of where stuff is going to go. I do like to do that, so I use the Terrain Painter tool. So if it's kind of... I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. So I will do one terrain... I'll mark it out with let's say soil if it's going to be an enclosure and then if it's like sand it'll probably be like facilities staff facilities all that stuff so that's just pretty much just how i work i just find it easier to do that it just it's more planning for the future such so what i do want to do as well um, i'm not sure if okapis are able to swim or not i've never seen one swimming i've only ever seen them twice in real life and they're very elusive so if this was a real life situation we will probably guarantee they'd be in the house or at the very back of the enclosure behind a tree or bush or something so pretty much this is just going to kind of be more of a kind of standoff barrier just to put in the way at the very front of the waterfront so it's just more just to stop them if they can getting in the river and swimming and then it's just another layer of um, security as such for the guests and obviously the zoo because obviously the vets won't want to keep having to get the okapis back in the enclosures if they do escape. So just going to create a quick little custom fencing. It's fairly easy to do this. I've literally just used two pieces. Just use the steel beams. I think I used the European marquee ones and the mesh pieces. Just recolor them to how you want. Um, I always just do it off the advanced move. So I just duplicate everything so it kind of all sticks at the same angle. See everyone can do it how they want, but that's just the easiest way I've found to do it so far. Okay, so another thing I really, really like doing with custom fencing, if it is for the perimeter of an enclosure, I do like to angle it if it's going to be a low barrier. Just adds more visibility into the enclosure for the guests, because the guests are going to be stood pretty much just where you can see at the bottom of the screen where the plants are. There's a little fence there as well. That's not a custom fence, that is just an in-game ground railing, I believe it's called in the settings. So you can see it here, this is literally where the guests are going to stand, and then this is just, like I say, an extra level of security. Just going to kind of remove the side moat there, I don't, I wasn't 100% happy with it. So I'm just going to make it completely land, all the way from side to side. And then the only bit that's going to have the water moat now is the very front of the enclosure. So just going to kind of soften up the terrain, just make sure everything's okay, ready to go. I did worry about the rocks on the side there, because I don't know, well, I say I don't know, but... When I was building this, I wasn't sure if they would be able to climb up. Turns out they can't, so obviously them them long legs aren't good for climbing, which is a good thing. So that will also be another viewing area. I know 
probably people won't use it as much because all the information and all the education stuff will be on this level. But it's probably good just to have that side picture so people can see another angle into the enclosure. Okay, so success finally. I've actually managed to get a male oak RP. I don't know what was happening there, but just randomly went in. Like I said, I, I was going to try at some point and I've actually managed to get one. So that's all good. So female oak RP is just coming into the enclosure now, so we'll just hop to the door. Okay, so just going to hop into the house, just wait for him to... Okay, so here she is. So she's called, I'm not even going to try Takia, probably, Takia. I'm not sure if we'll run with that. If not, then do apologise. Um, so as you can see here, I've made a slight error with the sizing of the fence. Just going to hop in, delete one of them on both sides, because then they can access both of these. My initial plan was to have two split enclosures for two pairs, but I thought it's probably going to be a little bit too small for them. don't think it would have, obviously looking at the, probably would have been borderline, so it's probably not worth the risk. And it would have been awkward to kind of angle it around so both of the enclosures end up coming to the front i'd have to probably make an l shape and more of a square on one side i do do that in a couple of the enclosures that i do in the future i'd have made it more so one will be an l shape and then the other will just be like a big square and it'll kind of hook around so you can still see both enclosures from the viewing points but they are separated so just gonna pretty much now just drop straight in add all the forestry I'm going to use the majority of stuff from the Okapi continent, which is Africa, and that's the tropical biome. So it will fit quite nicely into this zoo with it being a tropical zoo. So pretty much just going to make it as realistic as possible for them. I know they do like a lot of coverage, so loads of trees, loads of bushes. Going to add some, some rocks in the middle, kind of logs here, there and everywhere. And yeah, I'll pop back at the end once I'm out of the speed build. Okay, so just hopping out of speed build very quickly because I really want to show something funny which happened. So we have an airborne okapi. So I don't know what happened with that. I think it had some form of stuck animation or something, but it flew probably about three, four meters. We're going to have to give this one a superhero name. So we're going to give it the name of Super Okapi, kind of like a Superman reference. I don't like Superman, but it is what it is. We'll run with it.
Okay, so that is the finished product. So the Okapi habitat is complete. He or she is running around, not sure which one that is, but they're having a good time of their life. So I wanted to mimic the African jungle as much as possible. I wanted to capture as much as their kind of like environment, just so it's it's more natural for them. I wanted to have plenty of coverage because these do get stressed quite easily. I think it's noise and I think if the guests are too close they do get very very stressed. I just wanted to keep that down as much as possible. Now at some point in the future I do add the do not disturb signs along the front and up the side because I think there was an episode where they are getting a little bit stressed so you will see that in a future episode at some point. But yeah that's pretty much it. As you can see in the background I've not really spoke about the castle but I'm not 100% happy with it at the moment. I do end up changing it. I want it to be more of a ruin style rather than a fully built castle because at the moment it is massive and I do not want it that big so I'm gonna pretty much chop it in half. Get rid of the back bit. Okay so moving on to this area. So I have plans to add shops here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the blank shells for the shops because I don't particularly like the in-game custom built ones. So I'm just going to add the ones which I personally find make quite a bit of money. So just going to add four of them. I think I added the pizza, pizza hut, oh not pizza hut, pizza pen sorry, uh, pipe shop water, the juice and the energy one. Is it Gulpi I believe? So I've added them ones. I'm just going to make a very very basic building. Just want it to kind of blend into the surrounding areas a little bit. So pretty much plaster, uh, wood pieces, doing the front bit as wood, doing the overhang. If you want a good tutorial on how to do the overhang of the roof, Adam Up Gaming has a very, very good tutorial on how to make that style of building. I will link his video in the description below so you can pop over and see that one because it is quite helpful. Okay, from here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the video into speed build for quite a large portion of this video. Basically what I'm doing from here, I've finished the shops, so from the shops I'm just going to kind of pop around the park. I've got a couple of bits like maintenance, just little bits, because what I do is I block off the paths which you'll see with the staff path. So this is just so when I'm building a park I can set how far the guests go into the park. I don't know if anyone else does that, I just kind of picked it up as I went, didn't pick it up off anyone in particular, just used a bit of logic and just kind of used it as like a section. I know there is in-game guest barriers, but I don't particularly like them because I found they don't work as well as they should. So I think the staff path's the best option because then if you do have buildings on a certain bit of the park, the staff can get to it. So what I am going to do here is I'm just going to start the Nile monitor build. Well, this was a very last minute plan. I didn't plan to have them here. I did want to have a small primate here, but we're going with the Nile monitors because it's small enough to house them. So just doing a classic kind of style reptile building. So pretty much just going to leave you in speed build while I build this and then I will pop back at the end and I will show you what I've done with the Nile monitors and we'll just kind of go through the building and then that's pretty much it for this one.
Okay, so that's both enclosures now finished. So I have built the Nile monitors, as you can see on the right, and the Okapi on the left with the shops in the middle. So we've just got a couple of rewards. Let's just get rid of those out of the way. So as you can see, it's a very basic building as such at the moment. I'm not sure if it's going to be a permanent enclosure in the, in the zoo. I might just keep it as more of a temporary, just to keep them housed for the time being. I probably will end up repurposing this at some point I might have like some other kind of I don't know if a Komodo dragon will probably fit in there or something or we'll just have a move around and see what happens so the building style I've kept very very basic it's going to be kind of a building style I use a little bit throughout the zoo it's just literally plaster pieces with a glass roof so just going to clear out these notifications so what I also need to do as well is I need to think about staffing because I haven't actually got that many staff in the zoo. So I need to ensure I've got enough keepers, mechanics, cleaners to keep everything running smoothly. So this is just flattening out the area just for the next episode. So I've got an exciting build coming next time. And I will tell you what it is. I'm going to build capybaras because I've already got them in the zoo. I just need to move them up into the main zoo now. So just hopping over into the Nile Monitor house. So this is the Leucistic Nile Monitor. So I know these aren't very rare, but I know there was quite a lot of them. I think there was quite a lot of these given out in the um, community challenge. Where you had like an increased chance to get albino animals. Because I know I got a couple. I think I got like warthog, chimpanzees, and I think I got a giraffe, I believe. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check, but I got quite a few and I got loads of gold, gold rated ones as well. Okay, and just touching as well on the gold rated ones, I have actually saved as many of them as I can because I do want to repurpose and use them in this zoo. I was going to use them in a like just a breeding zoo, but then I thought they're all going to have the same parents. It's going to be a nightmare to try and breed them in this zoo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them forward. So I've got them all in the trade center at the moment. Um, I don't know how many gold rated I've got, but I've got some really, really good ones in there. So we're going to use them in this zoo get them read in and hopefully get some more conservation credits so that should be good and also thinking of guest needs as well so I do need more toilets I've only got two at the bottom of the stairs down there so I'm just going to pop some toilets here just at the staff bath just so we've got a bit more coverage and the guests are a bit more happier so they will come up here and use these toilets and hopefully come and see the, the animals up here as well so what I'm going to do for this bit I'm just going to create a very basic old-fashioned style something that you'd probably see in like a, a museum area or an old-fashioned zoo just that kind of style of British building so just going to pop in speed build from here I'm going to get the toilet done and then I'll show you some more kind of cinematics and the finished products at the end So that is it for today's video 
If you have enjoyed this video of watching me start my franchise Tropical Castle Zoo series, then I would really, really be happy if you could consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have really enjoyed this video, feel free to drop it a like as well. It will help me out. So I'm quite new here. This is my first ever video I've done. Um, but I'd also love for you to follow along with this one because I've got quite a few episodes lined up. At the moment, I've got about 15 or so stored back, which I'm editing, and I am going to be dropping these weekly. I'm going to try and get them out at the weekend, probably evening. So, yeah, if you stick around, you'll see them pop up. And just want to say a massive thank you for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.